Hi, everybody. Uh, this video is explaining how to run the chi-square goodness of fit test. So I'm going to do two examples. The first one here is a, a researcher for this financial service company, selected 400 records, people calling in sick. And they want to know, uh, is there a difference in, is there a difference in the uh, proportion of employees who call in sick uh, due to, due to uh, day of the week? And uh, it looks from the data visually that you know more people are likely to call in sick when it gets closer to the weekend, but let's just test to see if that's true. So in terms of the null hypothesis, we're really saying that all five proportions are equal. And how you got that point 0.20, by the way, just to remind you, it's just one by how, divided by how many categories I have, one over five is where I got that 20%, because they have to add up to one. And the alternative is at least one pr proportion is different. Uh, the model is this chi-square goodness of fit, and the assumptions is that uh, to use a chi-square test for categorical data, you have to have the expected value be at least five for each cell. We can check that when we run the test. Uh, we're going to test a significance level of 1% and reject the null hypothesis if the p-value is less than alpha. So uh, here's a file I have of the data, if you can see it. In, in the first two columns down here, uh, we have the five days of the week and the number of days of six. So the, the second column is the observed. And the command in Minitab is found under stat tables, chi-square goodness of fit. And the first option I have is, do I have raw data or observed counts? I don't have raw data here. I actually have summarized the counts. So I'm going to say observed counts, and that's in the column called uh, sick. And then uh, the day of the week, which is... I'm going to put that here. Even though it's optional, it's good to see how it makes the output look more sensible. And here we're assuming all the proportions are equal, 0.20. So I'll leave that be like that. And you can see you get some nice output here. You get a graph of the observer versus the expected. You can see all the expecteds are 80, which satisfies the assumptions. And here you can see that the p-value right, is comes out to 0 0.004. So I'm going to use that p-value. Uh, and here's a nice table of how the chi-square is calculated. Um, I'm going to just go down here to, to, to write our conclusions that uh, um, the p-value is, p-value is equal to 0 0.004, which is less than, uh, less than point, uh, point 0.01. So that means I'm going to reject the null hypothesis, right? And uh, that would make uh, the, con let me just make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. That would make the conclusion H, A, and words. So there is a difference. I would just copy this as my conclusion, right? My conclusion would be there is there is a difference in proportion of employees calling sick due to day of the week. And you can even say more people are, li are likely to call in sick on the weekends. Okay, how, you actually, how do you get this command in Minitab Express? I'll go ahead and show you that right now. Same data, Minitab Express. Uh, it's real easy to find, it's under stat, and it's actually something called chi-square goodness of fit. You just click that button right there. Um, so again, uh, we're gonna say the default here is actually different. Data is in a column. We actually have summarized data. So the observed counts are sick, and the category names are day. We're gonna assume equal proportions. And click OK. And you'll see you get the same p-value, 0.03. They, they rounded off one more decimal, same answer. OK. Um, what I want to go over next is, is an example. What do you do when your um, null hypothesis is the proportions are not all the same, not equal proportions? So I have an example on that. Uh, this is my, the census problem. It says, in 2010, the census data was collected on how people get to work. and uh, and it's shown on the graph to the right. I don't have the graph here. I've got the graph in the data. So let me actually pull up the data over here to show you what the data, what we're looking at. Um, so here's the percentage of people, how they drive the seven, uh, 76. So I've got the observed and I've got the expected. So the observed, this is the observed data from Santa Clara. And here's the expected data shown right here. Uh, so these are not all the same. The US 0.763, drive alone 0.098, carpool, 0 0.050 public transit, 0 0.028 walked, and so on. And then we've got an actual count of the participants from the Santa Clara County. OK, so that's the data we're going to be using. So let me go back again to the problem here. All right, um, the data and the expected percentages. So uh, 
the, what we're trying to show is do workers in Santa Clara choose methods of commuting that don't match the US averages? So our null hypothesis is, th is that they match these US averages for these five, these six groups of uh, commuting methods. Again, it's these percentages here that go in the null hypothesis for the six possible ways of commuting. All right. Um, the model is this chi-square goodness of fit. Again, but that's all the same. But now we're testing at 5% on this example. So in Minitab, how you run it is pretty similar. It's under stat uh, um, tables, chi-square goodness of fit. And now we're going to do it a little bit different. So we're going to still use observed counts, but I'm going to change it to the observed is was just actually called observed is this column C5. The label for the names is the method of driving. So put that here. Okay, but now we're gonna change this to specific proportions. And I'm actually gonna enter it. Uh, I can enter a column here because the data is actually here in this column expected proportion. So I'm going to just click here and highlight the column expected proportions. And that's what makes it different. They're not all the same. And when you click OK, you can see here's the observed, here's the expected. Uh, again, same tables. But now you can see they're not all the same across. The important thing, it's really important to check the expected here. They got to be at least five. Other was the least one is 18, which is more than five. So we're good. So the p value for the test comes out to 0 0.006. Again, that's less than alpha. We are going to reject an all hypothesis. So I can go back here and say the p-value is, uh, oops, <laughs> that's funny. Okay. So okay, so the p p value is uh, it came out to 0 0.006 which is less than 5%. So again, reject the null hypothesis. And our conclusion is the alternative hypothesis in words, just like before, right? Workers in Santa Clara County do not match the US averages. And when you reject the null hypothesis, it's always a good idea to go back to your results, and I'll do that, and see which ones are not matching the most. And this table here, like each uh, chart of contribution to the chi-square shows you the other is the one that's the most off even though it's a small category, it contributes more to the chi-square statistic than anything else. Actually, the worked and the drive alone and carpool are pretty close to matching the actual results. I know it looks, so other might be like bicycling, maybe in the Santa Clara, who knows what it is. But the point is that that's the biggest, these public transit and other are the biggest components. Uh, Santa Clara are more likely to use other methods, less likely to use public transit. All right, how you run this in Minitab Express, a little trickier. So I'll go ahead and show that. Uh, in Minitab Express, we do the same thing. We go to the chi-square goodness of fit test and uh, the categorical data, we're gonna again switch to summarize data. The observed counts are those observed, let me move that over. It's the observed data that 764 and so forth. Uh, the method of commuting is the label for that. And now we got to change this to uh, proportions used on historical. And notice they don't, you can't put in a column, which is, means it's more work. It means you actually have to type in these six values. And the other thing that's annoying is they put these in alphabetical order and these are not in alphabetical order. So you got to make sure you match them up. So carpool is 0.098, right? I'm going to just match the columns as I see them. Uh, drive alone is 0.763. Oh, it says enter, a, a, oh, oh, you gotta put in, okay, so I'm just gonna put in 98, uh, 98. I guess you gotta put in whole integers, interesting. Uh, drive alone, I'll just put 763. So we just, I'm just gonna put in, just, they say they want an integer, so I'm just gonna put in times a thousand. So you really gotta trick Minitab Express a little bit. Other is 18.018, public transit is 50.050 times, I'm just multiplying these percentages times a thousand. Uh, walked was 28 and worked from home is 43. Okay, and then when you click okay, yeah, you get the same results, same p-value, same everything else. So anyway, that's how you run chi-square goodness fit test in Minitab and in 
and in uh, uh, many tab express.